Hi there. In this quick video, we'll be taking a look at this uh, Intenso 128GB uh, SATA 3 SSD. These are the read and write speed up to, yes. <laughs> Uh, this will be installed in a really old Lenovo computer to get a little bit more life out of it because the standard um, uh, mechanical hard drive was extremely slow. So let's get to it. If you want to read any of the, I don't know, wankery that's on this thing, uh, have fun. It supports stream, so that's great. It supports smart, great. Low noise, obviously, no moving parts, shock resistant, no moving parts, eco power, it consumes less than something that's actually spinning and moving platters and heads. So yeah, it's an SSD, a cheap SSD at this point, I think $15 or something like that. Oh man, and it has a ton of all over the place stickers right around here. Let me not cut myself, that would be perfect. Let's get it out of this box, which is a really crappy cardboard, but uh, at this price point, uh, I don't care. Nothing else of interest in here. SSD itself. Decently heavy plastic all, all around do we care no we do not care obviously SATA it's 2.5 inch would work in a laptop for sure let's throw it in this old Lenovo so what I'm thinking double-sided tape and I'm going to stick it in here to this wall because we are not using this uh, right here it's an old PCI not PCI Express PCI slot we are only using the PCI Express for a GPU, so if I stick it in here, I don't think it bothers anything. Let me just make sure nothing gets in there. So somewhere around here it can stay without issues. Cable should be coming to it. Ah, great, it's reversed. Let's rotate it somehow. I think we can deal with this. And also, what? That's weird. That's... Ah, no, it finally went in. So if it first uh, doesn't go in, push until you get it in. That sounded weird. Anyway, we need to split this because I'm also trying to keep the old uh, mechanical drive in here, which will be run through USB port right here, although it has an external SATA, so that could also be done, but I will be using USB with a few adapters. There's, <coughs> there's a separate video for this machine, will be linked in the description. Uh, let's plug this thingy in. And uh, yeah, we need again double-sided tape in place here make sure it doesn't bother anything it will be going under the GPU both this cable and uh, the other cable will somehow be going under the GPU and it will still be enough in my opinion somehow like this to reach the other drive which will be around here so uh, yeah not ideal situation but uh, it's doable double side the tape it is just stuck some double sided tape to the side of the case after I cleaned the dust uh, enough for it to stick and now when I have the perfect position I will stick it in there avoiding the label because if I ever need to take it out if I put it on the label it will rip it apart and it's in here for better or for worse let's blow the dust after off the old mechanical drive and I'm going to stick it in here because I want it to be also powered on just to make sure this gives enough power for both of them to be running. I will deal with uh, uh, the cabling part and the direction where the cables must go later. Damn it, this is also rotated. Why does everything need to be rotated compared to uh, what it would be ideal? I love USB-C connectors, they go either way, anywhere, anytime. It's 
working actually, unexpected. So uh, let's boot from this and put Windows on the SSD. Great. Just want to mention I have a separate video that shows how to put Windows 11 on any old computer like this uh, and also use a local account, not online account. That will be in the description if you want it. In here I will show you after I get to the setting up of partitions and installing actually starts copying files on the drive. And here we are. This is the SSD. A single partition. It's too small for anything else. Doesn't make sense to uh, spread uh, its space. So it creates a system one. We don't touch that. Drive one is the thumb drive that we are booting from to install Windows. So on partition two. Next. And it's copying files. But yeah, we have just a USB 2 um, connection for the thumb drive, although the thumb drive is obviously USB 3, so it's going to be slow because of the thumb drive, because of the USB 2 connection. Sorry, that's the limiting factor, not the SSD in this particular moment at all. When we are booting into Windows, that's the SSD. So we'll see about that a bit later. And we are running Windows 11. Let's see what is recognized here. Perfectly recognized the CPU itself. Great. Memory perfectly recognized. 12 gigs. And SSD the same. Where does it, does it show the size? Here it shows it. And uh, yeah, this is the size of a 128 gig formatted drive. So, yeah, everything running perfectly. I'm going to do a speed test on this uh, drive, just for uh, lols, and uh, yeah, make sure all the drivers are installed and whatnot, as you would do on a fresh Windows 11 install on any computer, new or old. Ah, totally forgot. So, uh, as you can see, these speeds uh, seem really small for read and write, for sequential at least. Uh, this uh, Lenovo M58P has only a SATA 2. So, these are actually its maximum speeds, not the SSD's maximum speeds. But honestly, for random uh, reads and writes, I'm really happy. These anyway are much, much bigger than what a hard drive could do, but these are important. These for a hard drive would be incomparably smaller. So yeah, still a, a great upgrade. This thing with uh, what I put in it, memory and a quad-core CPU is moving really good. It can be used for, uh, for web browsing, for office, for stuff like that without absolutely any issues. But yeah, it's not uh, capable of saturating the SSD itself, so I cannot give you the maximum speed of the SSD, SSD in this video, but up until now working perfectly, and ask me in the comments how it works over months, years, hopefully no issues appear. But up until now, perfect, perfectly fine, cheap SSD. So, hope this video helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.